This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all all right. And welcome to the first video to be edited on my new computer. Yes, it's finally arrived. I have my new beast of a machine. <laughs> um, I probably already put out like a short video before this comes out, um, showing you my, my new computer. If not, then it'll be out very soon. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna go on about it too much because Apparently, I've been going on about it too much, to, <laughs> according to my mates. So uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much. But oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, anyway, today, it's a change of plan. We were supposed to deliver to South Cerny, reload in Tetbury, head back up to Southport, which is sort of like north of Manchester. Uh, I've got a Range Rover has decided to come down the left left hand side of me even though I'm taking up two lanes here. Yeah. Good job I spotted that because I was just about to turn left to go around the roundabout and I would have squashed him. That's why you always check your mirrors. Uh, yeah, so we were supposed to tip in South Cerny, reload in Tetbury, head back up north to Southport tonight, do a night out, tip in the morning, reload out of Wigan, which is where we've just been with this load, and come back down to South Cerny again tomorrow, tomorrow being Friday. Today is Thursday. But there's been a slight change of plan. So we got loaded in Wigan this morning and uh, we are now heading to South Cerny, which is where we are now. This is where we're based. We're actually going to go past our yard to, uh, to get to our delivery point in a moment. But uh, yeah, once we uh, tip here, we then have to go to Tetbury and we have to load up for tomorrow. Where are we loading for tomorrow, I hear you ask? Um, Windlesham and Croydon, which is uh, basically on the M4 corridor, pretty much. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, to, today we're gonna get loaded, we're gonna tip first, get loaded in Tetbury, go back to the yard, go home. And then tomorrow morning, uh, cameras will be set back up again. We will do the two deliveries tomorrow and then presumably reload for Monday next week. So first thing we need to do is get this load that we all have on the back of us delivered. We have 24 pallets, I believe, of roofing slate from BMI in Wigan, and we're delivering it to BMI in South Cerny. It's like a, like a stock transfer. They seem to do a lot of stock transfers. We go, uh, we sort of go all over the place really. So we, yeah, Wigan, Leighton Buzzard, South Cerny, Scotland, um, I'm sure there's others as well that I've been to recently, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> That's uh, Cerny Wick Quarry, so I did a lot of work out of there for hills. Uh, when I was doing a lot of the day aggregate work, that was out of there. So you might uh, remember this piece of road. Well, I go down this road all the time, it's called the Spine Road, so... Yeah, you've probably, uh, probably seen it in quite a few of my videos. Okay, turn right here, you might be able to see the trailer. I do, there's a person on the road there. I've, uh, I've got a new GoPro mount. I haven't actually used it yet, but I've got it. And basically, it's just this, it's, it's like a, a clamp, a very strong clamp, and I can quickly whack the GoPro on the top. So I'm hoping to get some external footage uh, from outside the truck at some point today. Don't think I'm gonna do it in BMI. Nah, probably not gonna do it in BMI, but I will do it in um, Tetbury because we've got to get, well, most likely we've got to put a net on, so I'll, I'll whack it up and do a little time-lapse. So this is the yard that we're based out of, here on the right-hand side. Um, check on my car as we go past. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah she's all right she's all right so yeah that's the that's the yard we're based out of we are literally delivering to the left hand side here let's go around this corner start indicating put the beacons on as well why not I've only been here once or twice. I can't remember the procedure. Yeah, there is a gate. Do they just let us in? I can't remember. They do. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to park up in one of these bays over here and just take my straps off. I think that's what I'm going to do first. And then I'll go and speak to someone and just double check what exactly I've got to do but I think we go down there there we go let's park it there let's drive his toilet cool I could do with a toilet <laughs> could do with visiting the, the little man's room right we're here okay let's turn the engine off hard hat right let's take these straps off and then uh, go and see someone I, I don't really know where I'm going so so yeah see you in a bit Right, paperwork is done. We are offloaded. We are good to go. Good to go, baby. So now we're going to head to Tetbury. Time now is quarter to three. What's the way out? Down here. Yeah, time now is quarter to three. I'm hoping this barrier just opens straight away, seeing as uh, everything is self-signed here. No paperwork actually went in. Uh, lifting the barrier now, yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah, we should be at Tetbury for about uh, about quarter past three, something like that. Not too bad. Hopefully, we can get in and out by quarter past four, say an hour. And um, well, it will be it will be dark by the time we get loaded. I think sunset's about four o'clock. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Yeah, sunset is at four o'clock. There we go. This lorry's letting me out, presumably because he wants to go in where I've just come out of. Yes, I think so. Yeah, so by the time we get to Tetbury and get loaded, it should be about four o'clock, I think. So we'll see. Uh, I will have the GoPro out, hopefully, and uh, film film myself being loaded and strapping up. Say hello to my car again. <laughs> right, anyway, let's crack on to Tetbury. I'll, uh, I'll see you when we're there.
Right, we are loaded. We've still got to do three more pallets up. They're the three small ones on the road back. But uh, we're just going to head out now so someone else can come on in. We'll, uh, we'll do the rest up on the, uh, on the private road on the way out. Yeah. Oh, that sun's bright out there. Oh, very bright. Well, I'll just park here and then I'll, I'll strap up and then also talk to you about the load as well. Should be enough room for me to get down the side. Just. Right. Let's go. So there is something um, rather peculiar with this load. I'll show you now, just put my gloves on, what it is. So basically I've got, got two drops. Take these uh, straps with me as well, look. So what it is, is I've got, I've got two drops to do, uh, but I've got to do it in a certain order. I realise looking at me from this angle is not the best. We've got to do the, the, the two drops in a certain order. And the order is basically those three small ones and those two big ones. Well, there's three other side. So there's eight there. And then for the second drop, we've got these big old tall ones here. So ideal scenario, we'd have the biggest ones up the front, but they can't do that because I've got to go to Coydon secondly, uh, second. So they've got to go on the back, be the second drop. So the only option I have is to put two straps on the front one. So that it brings it down nice and tight. And then I first for a single strap over this one, and then I thought to myself, is that enough? And straight away, if you're already thinking, is that enough? You want to put another strap on. <laughs> if, if you, as the driver, are already doubting if that's enough straps to put on, someone else is going to think that as well. So, we've only got three more straps to put on, so we're just going to whack them on quickly. Also, we're doing all right for time. Like it's only 10 to four right now. Sun sets in 10 minutes to get back to the yard from here because we are going back to the yard. It's about 30 minutes, so it'll, uh, it'll be, I don't think it'll be pitch black, but it'll be getting dark sort of thing. Right, so that's the three straps thrown over there. I don't know whether that's worked out well, but I put my GoPro here, look, so you can see what I was doing. That's quite cool. <laughs> nice little sunset. Let's put you there. Probably pretty much the same angle, aren't you? The thing when you've got pallets on like this, which is filled with bags, I don't know if you can see them very well, is they just get squashed. They just go down and down and down and down. So you've really got to do your ratchets up quite a bit whereas when you've got something hard like bricks or whatever you only really do them up like three or four clicks and it's as tight as it can be but with these bags you just go on and on and on and on and on okay and then for this one I'll show you again how I do the tails up what I call the tails grab another ratchet strap I was teaching my wife how to do these up the other day. We went down the yard and done a load up, so put it through like that, feed it through, nice and easy. Some people feed it back in again and back up, but I do it just the once. Okay, and then you just, I'm getting soaked here, put the hook underneath, go as tight as you can, and then you just keep doing that. Until it's fully tight.
Ah. And that's all the water being squeezed out. I just got a little bit wet. Have you ever had a pallet squirt on you before? So I just did. Lovely. Not my idea of a good time. I'm still, still tripping out now. Right, uh, grab the end, sort of make a circle. I do it big enough for my wrist to easily go through. And then you just wind it up like that. Can hear someone reversing, that's not good. And then what you do, is grab that end, or just a part of the rope, feed it through. So you got that. And then with this hand, put it back through there again, halfway, grab, pull, and then you just whack it back under the pallet. Anyway, literally just had a pallet squirt on me. So we got Looks like it's a little bit busy. We've got trucks coming on in, look. Let's jump in the cab quickly. Hey, mate, you right? How you doing? More YouTubing? <laughs> I am, yeah. Camera's on. My boy watches you all the time. Oh, your boy watches me? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Cameras are on now. <laughs> eh? Cameras are on now. Yeah. What's his name? Kai. Kai? Kai telephone. He does lock the aeroplanes in there. Oh, does he? Oh, lovely. Yeah, he's at... He's all got those more. and Carford. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see it. Right, see you later, mate. Yeah, see you later. See you later, bud. Um, right, Kai Gulliford. I've just seen your dad. I've just seen your dad, mate. Uh, I wonder if I can. Because I don't use this clamp much, so I was just wondering if I could like experiment with positions. Sounds wrong, doesn't it? I think I could have it up there. Huh. I could have it like that, you know. Might have to just adjust it so it's not actually in my vision of any mirrors. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Not in my vision of any mirrors at all, then it's high enough. And then just adjust. Adjust the angle. Oh, that's perfect. Can you, can you see that? I think you can. I'm going to try it like that. <laughs> Let's see what it's like. Right, so it is... Uh, Four o'clock now. Can't see any trucks coming in. Kai's dad just now, he come on in and there's another truck on its way out. So he just had to do what no one really wants to do around here. And that's try and negotiate past another truck on these single tracks. There's a vehicle coming. Is it coming down here? I think there's a, I think there's a car coming down here. He just slowed down before the junction. I'm just gonna wait. 10 seconds just to see if it comes along. Right, no, it's not coming. It's like a little pickup. I saw it just go across the hedge line and it sort of slowed down a little bit as if it was going to come down here. Never mind. We're, uh, we're off. We're off. But yeah, you definitely don't want to meet another truck down here. If you're lucky, where Kai's dad was, he could just drive straight on and let the other truck out. But if you're meeting halfway, then you've got to do some reversing. It's even worse at night. Lovely. Yeah, man. Yeah, that camera. It's look, I think that might be a that might be a keeper up there. You know, what do you think? Let me know if you like the camera angle. Do I need to expand a bit, a bit more? Now I've got that vice grip, it's just very easy just to plonk it somewhere. I might get, might get another one and um, plonk it on the side rail down here, so that um, where you are, because you're currently on the windscreen mount right there, but it's at the edge of my wiper blade, which is fine. You're legally allowed to put it outside your wiper range, but I do wonder if putting it there could be a bit better. I'm just not sure it's going to go high enough. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we can certainly experiment with different angles. Nothing wrong with a bit of experimentation. <laughs> right, so we are loaded. As I said, the second drop has got uh, tall pallets on, so I double strapped the front one. I was only going to single strap the second one, but then I thought, is it enough? And like I said, straight away, as soon as I think, is that enough? That's, that's My mind's like, ah, 
if you're already thinking it's not enough, then yeah, you need, you're going to need to put another one on in your loop. So I suppose it's better to turn my lights on, seeing as it's getting a bit dark now. So yeah, we've uh, double strapped the tall ones and then obviously single strapped the rest of them. Two drops tomorrow. I haven't even looked where I'm going yet. I do that when I get back to the yard and um, put it in the sat nav and find out how long it's going to take to get there, what time I need to leave and what time they open, etc. Because that's all part of the fun as well, figuring all that out. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to see you in the morning. Uh, sunrise is about eight o'clock, I think, isn't it? Hey Siri, what time is sunrise in the morning? Sunrise tomorrow will be at 7.55. 7.55. Chances are we'll be at the first drop, you know, around half seven-ish, I, I uh, suppose. Unless it's a uh, garden centre which opens up at nine o'clock. Like I said, I didn't even look, so I don't know. Uh, so, mm, yeah, it's going to be dark, I think, when you see me tomorrow morning. Going to be dark. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you in the morning. Ciao for now. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There's a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. I will get up there and make sure I never will return. Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back. It is the next day. It is now Friday. Um, so, we are, we are, we're about a mile away or so, a mile and a half away from our first delivery point. Yeah, we can make that. We're going to make that. We're, um, so, actually, so yeah, both delivery stalls today a little bit weird. <laughs> I was doing a bit of research yesterday when I parked up. So um, I always start from the back. So I always get my last drop planned first, put it in the sat nav, get that planned, ready to go. Then I do the first drop and then put that in the sat nav and then that's ready for the morning. And then as soon as I finish the first drop, I've got the destination for the next drop. It's already in the sat nav, ready to go. Recent destinations, bish bash bosh. I've got it pinpointed to exactly where I need to be. I like to plan, that's what I do. Um, so uh, the second job, which is in Croydon after this one. Postcode was invalid. It wasn't, wasn't a real postcode. Uh, I had to, it's got to go to someone called Picklocks, which apparently is a building construction site. Uh, and other than Croydon, all I had was this invalid postcode. So essentially, all I had as an address to deliver to was Croydon. Now, Croydon's a pretty big area. <laughs> I, need a bit, I need to narrow it down a little bit more than that. So I had to make a phone call. Uh, there was a number on the paperwork. I phoned him up. He, he explained, yeah, it's a wrong wrong postcode. He said, I'll, I'll text you the postcode now and I'll pinpoint on the map where it is you need to go. He circled it and everything. So that's good. That's sorted. That's the second drop, um, which appears to be a building site of some sort. So, and then I've done the first drop. So I put it in the sat now. I found the location. Excellent. All I need to do is find out what time I can deliver. No opening times on Google. So I phoned the phone number up on the paperwork to say, hi, oh, yeah, I got delivery tomorrow morning. Uh, just wondering what time I can deliver. And she was uh, on the phone. She goes, oh, you've contacted the customer service desk. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you that information as I don't know it. You need to send an email. I said, all oh, right. I said, um, but it's outside of opening hours. So when will they see the email? About nine o'clock tomorrow, they said. So... <laughs> I was like, well, if I send an email, I'm not going to get a reply back until God nine o'clock. So 
that's going to be no good. I said, do you have a phone number so I can call them, please? Call the actual store. No, we don't have a phone number. So customer service actually didn't do any service. It didn't help me out at all. Just uh, thought I'd let you there. for crocus.co.uk or something they're called. We're just around the corner now. So my point being is, there's no opening times on Google. Customer services couldn't help me. So I'm literally, like, taking a shot in the dark here of what time I can deliver. I, th I think now is going to be fine. I could have come a lot earlier, but risked being just waiting around for ages. But it's all right. It is what it is, isn't it? So we need to take a left coming up in a minute. There's a garden centre here as well. The time is 20 past 8 in the morning. We were going to be here for 8 o'clock, but we had to stop and get some fuel on the way. Um, there was a bit of a queue for the, for the fuel. So we had to stop and get fuel. Uh, so it's now 20 past 8. I'm hoping... We've got to go where that van is coming out. I'm hoping someone will be in by now. But like I said, there's no, there's no opening time. So it's like a nursery. So someone might not even be in until gone 9 o'clock. Well, that's a bit of a sharp left. I mean, it might be a while before anyone is actually in. It does look like a biggish place. There's, I could see some trucks on like Google Earth and that. So it should be okay there for, for room. But just wondering, it's just whether anyone is actually in, that's all. So yeah, <laughs> it's quite a big place. Hopefully we can find someone. There's someone there in uh, Orange Hovis. Hopefully. They can tell. Is it a forklift? Yes, it is a forklift. Right, okay. I think we'll jump out and ask him there, look. He's having a good old look. <coughs> In there, yeah? All right, mate. Yeah. Just have to go back a little bit. There isn't exactly a lot of room here to get both sides. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's not a lot of room there for both sides. We'll just pull forward a little bit. There's definitely enough room on that side. He's giving me the thumbs up, so I think that'll do. Right, let's go and uh get it all unstrapped and then hopefully we can get tipped relatively quickly. See you in a bit. I've just attached my microphone so you can actually hear me a bit better. Look at the uh, look at the back of this fault lift when you lift that small pallet. Yeah. It's like it's the weight of the pallet is like lifting up the back end of the fault lift. There is no way it's gonna be able to pick up those big pallets. I don't think so anyway. That little green fault lift, I've never seen such a thing. Right, that's all the straps off. Yeah, this this yellow one's gonna have to do it. So there's no way that green one was gonna do it. These are some big boys. Big heavy big boy pallets. Z strike then. Ah, he's got it. Lift the tilt up. Lift the tilt up.
Here comes the green one. I think the green one's going to try it, you know? Go on. I'll do it. Lift up that big one. I want to see what it's like. Yeah, go on, mate. Or is he going to reach over to a small one on the other side? Yeah, he's reaching. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's reaching over for a small one. Ah. I wanted to see him do the big one. That is, a, that is a funky forklift. Avant 755. These, um, these forklifts must think I'm weird because it looks like I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Obviously, they don't know I'm recording. Well, I assume they can't see the set up over here, look. I don't know if I've ever told you. Well, I think I have. I got a wireless microphone on, which is connected to the GoPro at the front. Completely wireless. And uh, sometimes it gets interference when there's a lot of stuff in the truck, but I can't imagine I'm getting any right now. Yeah, that JCB's got no problems with those big ones. But that, that little green one, there's no way. No way it would lift it up. Might struggle with this one, actually. <laughs> yeah. I thought you might struggle with that one. <laughs> I'll sit on the back if you like. I'll sit on the back. <laughs> one more then. That's it. Maybe. Yeah. In normal, in the boom. Yeah, when you're booming out. Yeah. <laughs> 700, yeah, maybe 600. Yeah, I thought, I thought you would struggle with that one. Looks like matey boy and the JCB is going to go around the other side to pick up the other ones. Basic science, isn't it? You count the lever, you reach out, the weight's further away, so your back end lifts up. Like I said, there's no way he was going to lift up these big ones. You could just tell. Cheers, guys. Lovely, right. Hello, GoPro. Right, so yes, that's the first drop done. We're um, gonna head over towards Croydon now. No, I'm not talking to you, GoPro. Should be in Croydon in about an hour and 12 minutes. So uh, just before 10 o'clock, not too shabby. Right, let's put the old seatbelt on. Matey boy leaf blower is gonna have to get out of the way. Lovely. Right, how easy is it gonna be to turn out of here? How busy is this road? Well, that car's going nowhere. Well, yeah, you've got loads of room actually. Oh, I've got a gap on the right, gap on the right. Yeah, I think that's the best gap we're going to get, so I'm taking it. Three minutes, that's it to get out. Which doesn't sound like a lot when you say three minutes, but uh, I just sat around doing nothing for three minutes, it's boring. I'm waiting to get out. Anyway, let's, uh, let's make our way to Croydon. Like I said, it's going to be looks like a construction site of some sort they've given us a road 
Have they given us a road? No, they haven't given us a road. It could be one of two entrances on, on two different roads. So say, for example, I'm going down the road. It's on the left-hand side. There could be a gate here, or I could, I could have to go left and left again and go on the other side. I'm not sure. We'll have to, that's something we're gonna to have to have a look at once we get there. But I've got the guy's number anyway, so I'll probably park up on the road, give him a call and say, I'm here, where do you want me? It's probably what I'm gonna do. But yeah, ETA just after 10 o'clock now, because we've got out up there. Anyway, let's get crack lacking. See you in a bit. Bit of a situation with regards to getting out of here. I can't make a left hand turn, but that's the way I want to go. I turn right, I then got to go up somewhere near, like go through Croydon somewhere. But I think if I go straight on, I can take a left, then take a left again, go down past this road where I am, that roundabout spin around and go back up the way I need to go. I think that's the plan. When I come to a stop, I shall put my seatbelt on. There we go. Because this is it, last one. Paperwork's already been signed, so as soon as he's tipped this one off, we're just good to go. What's happening? Oh, he needs to adjust his forks. We have had an issue with people walking down the side of the trailer, like someone is doing now. Someone is literally offloading the pallet right next to his head, and he is on the opposite side. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm just waiting for these people to move on the left. <laughs> Give me. See you later, mate. I thought he was telling me to stop then. <laughs> right, so we are just going to go straight across. Good, Cheers, mate. Yeah, Pardon? You're done, you're All done. <laughs> back to where are you coming from? Back to Swindon? Back to, well, I've got to go Leighton Buzzard now. Oh, yeah, near Oxford and then, and then Swindon. Alright, right, right, cheers mate. I'm going to go straight on. Yeah, straight and then up. Eh? And then left. Alright mate. Left and left, left, left. There we go. <laughs> Who's tooting there? Oh, there's a green light and no one's going, so that's why they're tooting. All right, we need to take a left here, because it's buses only straight on. Can we make this corner? Yeah, we can, just. Are you stopping or are you going? You're going. Wait until I get alongside you, Mr. Taxi Driver, and then you decide you want to start moving completely. 
Yeah, so as I said, we've got to go to Leighton Buzzard now. Get loaded with uh, like Reuben Slate, and then that's going straight back to the yard. So, including a break, we should be at Leighton Buzzard for about quarter past one. Yeah, about quarter past one. Should hopefully be loaded by quarter past two. It's two hours back, quarter past four in the yard, which is good because that's when it starts getting dark, which means. I should, with a bit of luck, be able to unstrap, drop the trailer before it's pitch black. So that's the aim anyway. That's what I'd like to do. But yes. So yeah, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a case of, <laughs> it's like Tetris. You have to go forward, backwards, forwards, backwards. Because the, um, the only place he could offload me was in like this small gap. So I went back, he'd offload me, take a pallet off. I would then go forward so that he can get out. He would then come back in, I would go back, and then yeah, just do that eight times, because that's how many pallets we had. But um, yeah, surprisingly quick, considering what was entailed, do you know what I mean? So, but I quite like it. I like it on the flatbed. If it was a curtain side, it would have been a lot more annoying, because I then would have had to done the curtains up, the buckles would probably would have got caught on the Harris fencing, going backwards and forwards. Just a nightmare with curtain siders. I love flatbed work. <laughs> Right, I think I'm going to need the middle lane again because we're going left and then right. So we're just sticking the middle lane. In fact, we're going to use both these lanes up. Yeah, because we've got a nice bend here. So use both these lanes up. Right, anyway, let's crack on to Leighton Buzzard. Shall I see you when we're there? See you in a bit. Okay, I'm now in Leighton Buzzard. My dirty clothes are here. Yes. Ugh. Yes, yeah, so we're now in Leighton Buzzard. We've got our paperwork, just getting ready now. It's quite busy, there's a few trucks here. So I was hoping to be in and out in an hour. That is not going to happen. Is anyone in there? No, there's no one in the truck. So, just sit tight here. Right, anyway, we're gonna be here for a while, so I'll let you know when we finish, when we're loaded. It's currently 20 past one, just gone. I reckon we'd be here at least an hour, 20 past two, half past two, I reckon. See you in a bit. Right, we're loaded. We're strapped up. And it is 10 past three. Oh. Whew. How long are we still for? Ah, uh, hadn't done me. I reckon we just strapped up. It's a full load in about 15 minutes. I was uh, not hanging about. Lovely jubbly. No, I've not had a hard fall. <laughs> My watch just thought I've had a, hard, a hard fall. That's just me jumping in my truck, mate. Right, so yeah, we're loaded, we're strapped up, we're good to go. We are now gonna be heading straight back to the yard. We will be back in the yard for 20 past five. So, um, yeah, it's not as early as uh, I thought or hoped. But never mind. We'll well and truly be dark when we get back to the yard. Luckily, I have a torch. Turn left. Ah. So yes, it's a two and a bit hour drive back. Yes, 20 to six it's saying we're going to be back. But um, obviously rush hour traffic as well, so. It probably would be about six o'clock before we're back in the yard, and then we've got to drop the trailer and hitch. That's the same thing. Drop the trailer and unstrap. So that'll probably take another 20 minutes or so. Plus, I need to get our blue and fill up my windscreen wash. So I'm going to be in the yard for a little while. Never mind. It is what it is. Turn my display down to dark mode. Oh, it's going to be very bright. Excellent. Right, we're going to crack on. I'll, uh, I'll see you when we get back to the yard. See you in a bit. Okay, trailer is dropped. Well, actually, we're about to drop it now. Now the trailer is dropped. We're uh, just gonna park next to it on the other side. Bam, bam, bam. Lovely jubbly, that'll do. Get my car passed. 
Right, we are done. Ending off. We are done for the day and for the week. Put that up there. Excellent. Just gonna take my card out. Okay, that's that done. We need my dirty clothes. Gonna leave my Ugh. Gonna leave my high vis here. Paperwork up there. Excellent. Make it smell nice for when I next get in. Lovely. Right, we are good to go. Let's go. I'll show you what I did. Ugh. Right. We are good to go. Okay, so trailer's been dropped right next to me. Look. So someone else is going to take that away uh, to Bristol Monday morning. Oh, I just parked it there for now. Plonk it there. Someone else can move it. Needs a wash, I know that. So yeah, that's that done. We uh, are now finished for the week, so gonna walk now to the car and uh, go home and edit this video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>